Wow, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean. And today, as you probably saw from the thumbnail, we are talking about one thing, evolve or die. And I wanna approach this concept from two different ways. The first one is from the standpoint of being an artist and developing yourself. And just for a reminder, I'm gonna play these few clips of some artists that have evolved. Stupid nigga, stupid hoes. Rather than I, I change your life. Now you gon' ride. Oh, say he ain't got no money. 21 Savage, I love catching bodies. I boot up a Molly, then load up the shotty. Pop, 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 got him. Greedy told me get him, I got him. Oh, I ain't had a father since a baby. Why you think we skip school and hang out on the pavement? Shotty big dog like Clifford. I ain't bullshit. So from watching those clips right there, you obviously know that a lot of these artists don't really sound like they used to, but that's because they have evolved and they've adjusted. That's something that's going to be necessary, but really just understanding that development really is a thing. I know that you hear a lot of times that artist development is dead, but you have to develop your craft. It is a job basically, and you gotta get better at your job. And those of you who aren't successful in the first era that you were inspired by, and then two and three trends later, you haven't necessarily blown up, you're likely going to have to evolve past your first phase. And the second thing I wanna talk about in terms of evolution is entrepreneurship entrepreneurship in the music business as a whole. What people have to understand is things are changing so fast right now that people don't really know how things are going to be for sure three years from now, let alone five years from now. So a lot of these people who are telling you this is the way things work in the music industry are kind of operating off of borrowed time. Jay-Z basically branded it perfectly when he said there's no rules. We're in the wild west right now. And he even also said that everybody's scared. So you can't get too caught up in people telling you this is how it has to be because the business people in the music industry are just like a lot of the artists, right? A lot of these artists are copycats trying to sound like future trying to sound like Amigos, trying to sound like whatever. Matter of fact, the business people even more so because business people are looking for formulas and systems that they can use to create success for themselves. But remember, very recently there was those rumors of YouTube streams counting towards the billboard charts and academics even talked about coming out with a mumble rap album because obviously he has a huge following on YouTube and he could go gold or platinum. But just today, or maybe yesterday, Billboard basically kind of submitted under pressure to the record labels who were like, nah, bro, you can't do that. Getting into the details, why is it necessarily for this video? Point is, don't look to just get creative in the art, get creative in the business, especially you guys, the managers, the people who have incentive at the bottom to rise to the top, they're gonna be looking for those creative ways to find holes and get up. Just know that these charts and a lot of these other things that people talk about, all this vanity, superficial, these numbers, that stuff is cool, but the only things that matter are the fans and the money. The fans and the money. As long as you can get those two things, as far as I'm concerned, you're straight. I don't care about no awards, none of that stuff. Yes, you can make that happen, but that's just a little bit more of a flick of the wrist type situation as opposed to actually building something real. And, other, and on that note, there's a lot of things and changes that will be happening, but one thing I can say for sure that will be valuable is building and having your own platform and being able to connect with other people people who have platforms so y'all can utilize those and flip that into converting to fans or converting to money. Once again, the fans and the money. And why I see it becoming increasingly important to have your own platform or being connected with people directly who have platforms is when you look at these things like Google, YouTube, Facebook, they're always changing the game up because they just that's just what they do. One day Facebook lets you build a fan page and the next day they charge you for your fans to see your post. YouTube is always changing their ad rules. There's just a lot of stuff that you don't wanna necessarily be completely reliant on. But anyway, that's it for now. So if any of you guys are like super future futuristic and have your own projections put them in the comments i'm interested to read it other than that you know what to do hit that subscribe button